Hey, it's Steven, your event director, host, and MC for the 10th annual Agents on Film Festival of Shorts. It's 2021, and it is a brand new year. And we're really excited because not only is it our 10th year, but on our festival website, which we hope you liked and subscribed already, but we have 10 years of archived interviews, great films from the past, and also Q&As including this Q&A right here. We are joined by the director and lead actress in A Separation. This is Michelle on the top left and she's calling all the way from Taipei, Taiwan. And then Yolan is here with us in uh, Pacific Standard Time. But ladies, thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you thank for you having us. <laughs> so Yolan, if, if you can tell us about your film, uh, what do we get expect after watching your film? Wow, um, so A Separation is a uh, romantic drama about uh, a young couple in the 1990s who, um, to put it simply, to came to the US to kind of pursue their American dream, which is a kind of a very standard uh, narrative of a lot of immigrant families. But for this one, um, I wanted to have the audience to see it as a romance that is um, going somewhere, but leave the, theater or leave watching the movie was a little bit like uh maybe the sadness about the reality but also just about the natural flow of the uh, definition of love itself so I, I want them to feel like happy but sad but the most importantly like i want them to feel this is real life that everyone can relate to and if you're watching out there, that sounds confusing, but you'll understand <laughs> what Yolan's talking about when you watch the film. Sadness, but love, but happiness. On that note, Michelle, she portrays the character of uh, Hugh Xian, and um, her role is very sad. She experiences sadness, she observes sadness, and her acting, um, the way she portrays, or Michelle, I don't want to speak for you, but just tell us with that very sad character, how did you get into that role? Uh, I think when I first auditioned for Yalan, the scene that she gave me was, was already like a long distance thing. And I had just came out of a long distance relationship a few years before I auditioned. Um, I was already kind of healed from that breakup, but that scene itself definitely brought me back to what I experienced. And um, I wouldn't say it's similar, but I can definitely relate to the long distance relation part, the relationship part, which is um, what the main characters uh, have built their relationship on. Um, I spoke to Yalang a lot on how she came up with the character and she told me her research and why she wrote the character the way she is. And um, I just think as a woman, when you love someone, that's just how you're going to feel. The more you love, the more sadness you're going to feel when it's just not going to the way you're expecting it. So yeah, I think her giving me a very safe, uh, Yala, my director, giving me a very safe space to explore what's her inner feel, Hui Xin's inner feeling really helped me to complete the character. And she also gave me some like homework assignment for every single scene. Wow. Oh, why do you think she did this and that? Um, what's the motivation? Can you summarize it? What's your final goal out of each scene? That was very helpful. She's tough. And yeah, she was to give me homework. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's one scene, if when people watch it, I hope they feel something too. After we shoot that one scene, um, both her and I, we were hugging each other and just kept crying for like a good 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah, and I, I, I think she was happy about that scene. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's yeah. very emotional. So I guess, Yolan, is this yeah. more about the American dream as uh, Chinese immigrants, Asian immigrants, Taiwanese immigrants? Is it more about that or is it more about relationship, happiness, sadness, love, or maybe it's all of them? Yeah, um, it is. I, I would say uh, love itself, or I should say the loss of love and the idea of the immigration, the story of immigration are two very key components of this film. 
like because for me uh like I grew up in mainland China but growing up like me and my family and the friends and classmates around me we all are kind of educated of the idea of American dream it was very big in my time growing up so I remember uh, me and my friends are always talking about, oh, in the future, we, we wanted to go to America to study or to leave and all that. So mm. it is a concept that even though we didn't grow up in America, but even in China, it was very big. So the inspiration of the story came from my family because my aunt at the time, like she gave up her work as a doctor mm. and she she went to America to meet with her husband at the time who was studying <laughs> in American University. So the part of the story is it is from that inspiration of how how American young people, especially a lot of younger women, they mm -hmm. would go to a very foreign land, which on, on a lot of the cases is America, to to build a family or to chase their love from zero from the ground. But then uh, for my family, the story was that my aunt came back home after four years and we never saw like uh, her we never saw I, I don't know how should i call him but we we never saw like her husband again mm. in my life that's why you specifically chose four years in the script because she yeah. said it twice, yeah. and i yeah. knew there was a choice why why not only did she have to say four years because she could have just said long distance yeah. relationship i haven't seen you forever honey yeah. but you said four years and you put it in the script twice as, as uh, yeah. four years you referenced it so I can mm -hmm. see why wow very personal film uh, I, I want to end on the note with Michelle you're talking about healing and that you had um, personally experienced a long distance relationship and this film just came up at the right time now I know you had a, a long emotional moment at the end offset but a personal question did you heal from this film and acting in it and did you personally kind of recover I uh, personally, not as the character, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think before you meet your next true love, that, uh, well, someone who make you feel like, oh, this is it, you know, you, even if you feel like you're healed, you always have this doubtful feeling like, oh, is it going to happen? Mm. I feel better, but was that it? Is there any regret? Something like that. But luckily i did meet that person the same year after i shoot this film actually oh. so uh i met that person like a month after i finished this film so i would like to say personally i healed completely <laughs> a month after the completion of the film but um i do appreciate that experience and i don't regret me like pulling my heart out for that relationship because I would not have known how someone would react during that situation. Uh, even when I was shooting the scene that you were talking about, um, there were a few different times where Yalan was asking me, why did you act the way you did? Why did you smile here a little bit? Like, why did you, why were you so quiet? Why were you just so still? Like she had questions and I told her and we kind of, agreed on oh, okay this is a choice and she can totally feel it too um so i thought that was really helpful and um as an actress i totally appreciate that kind of experience although i don't want to experience it ever again <laughs> but i think as a career as, as for my own career um i grew out of it and i am totally healed at this point <laughs> I want to thank my guest for joining us here today. This is A Separation, joined by the lead actress and director, Michelle and Yolan. Please link and subscribe. Watch this film. It has um, a lot of love and happiness, but with sadness, it comes with Asian women empowerment. And that's what Asians on Film is all about. So thank you again, ladies, for joining. Have a great season. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, guys.